Under the new regulations for slurry now, we have to have 22 week storage and there was grants available to do it. So that's what encouraged us to improve our storage capacity on our farm. Going for a lagoon was the cheapest way to store that amount of slurry. And because it enables us to store a lot of slurry, we use every bit of slurry that we have through the season, applying to our crops, and that reduces our fertilizer bill, so we become more efficient. We apply our slurry using an umbilical system. We bought a dribble bar this year. Previous to that, our contractor had one, so we've been doing it for two or three years. The advantages we see of doing that, it's very efficient, it's lighter on the land, we don't have to track in and out the fields. We don't get this spoilage on top of the leaf when we're applying slurry if we're using a splash plate. We also get uh, make more use of the slurry that we apply because it goes directly into the soil. During the spreading operations, obviously we keep as much as we can away from water courses. We try and keep 10 metres away from water courses. But what we have to do is obviously look at the weather to see if there is a window to put slurry on. So if it does become very wet, it doesn't run off. It's a valuable product and we want to make sure we use it to grow the crop. When we're crossing a river or a road, we, have to, we go under it, we build in a tunnel to make sure that we don't burst and say on the river or something like that. We check our product uh, and the pipes and the couplings that they're all correct. So we do as much as we can to make sure we don't have any uh, seepages and we check our pressure to see if all of a sudden if we do have a drop in pressure we shut down because obviously something must have happened when we go and find out what's wrong. If there is something unforeseen happened we immediately try and, and make sure it doesn't get to a water course. If we have had a problem we will phone SEPA, we've always found them uh, full of good advice and will help in any way they can if there is a genuine error. So we don't, I wouldn't be frightened of phoning SEPA, they're there to help us.